Hey art friends, today we thought it would be fun to celebrate by drawing the words. I have a dream. Yeah, and the words are going to be in block letters except for the word dream. We're going to draw in cloud letters. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a pencil first, then a marker. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you're ready to start. Yes. We're first going to write the words out just with our pencil. This will act as guidelines to draw the block letters. First, I'm going to write the word have right in the middle of the paper. I know this kind of seems weird because we're not writing <laughs> in order, but first let's draw or write H A. So I'll stop there so you can catch up. And anytime we go too fast, if you need extra time, remember you can pause the video. There you go. Okay, actually, the great part about drawing with our pencils or writing with our pencils, we can erase it. So go ahead and erase and then slide it over just a little bit so that you have more room for the eye on the left side. I'm also pressing really hard so that our art friends can see the letters on our camera, but you can press lightly so it's easier to erase. Now let's draw the letters V and then the letter E right next to it. Nice job. Now we have our second word. Let's write our first word. And the reason why we did that is just so the word have is right in the middle of our paper. And then we're going to draw or write the letter I right here. And I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm going to erase that and slide it over just a little bit more so that I have room to add the block letters and also maybe some extra details at the end. So I'm going to slide it over. I'm going to write it right here. So we do want to leave some space so it looks like two words. And then over here, we're going to write the letter A. I have a dream. Dream. And we're going to write dream down here on the second row. Nice. That looks awesome. Now let's slide down here and we're going to write the word dream. And first, let's draw or write the letter E. This is so that the word dream is centered on our paper. And I'm going to write it kind of big. So here's our first letter. And that's because E is right in the middle of the word dream. Then let's write this way. We're going to write the next letter, which is R. And it's just to the left of the E. And then what's the first letter of the word dream? Uh, D. Yeah, D. We're going to write it right here. Write it nice and big. Okay, what's our next letter after the letter E? A. Yeah, A. So we'll write a big letter A. And then what's the last letter? M. M. We're going to write big letter M for the last one. Now we're ready to switch to our marker. We can put our pencil off to the side and we're going to draw the block letters up here first. So I'm going to start here. And we're going to draw around the guide letters. So I'm going to draw a big line up on the top. And then we'll draw a short line down. Go in, down, back out, and just trace around. It's really easy once you've pre-drawn the letter with pencil. See how that works as a guideline? Yeah. So you know where to draw. Now let's switch to the next word. We're going to trace around the letter H. And I'm going to go kind of fast since we're repeating the same steps for each letter. Here we go. A is the next one. And this one I'm going to add overlapping since it's so close. So I'm going to trace around the letter A. But look at this. I'm going to connect it into the H. So it looks like it's behind. Yeah. Oh, keep going over the V. That's okay. Yes, to the H. Now your letter V, you can switch to your pencil and redraw a letter V that's spaced out just a little more. Mine's really close too, but watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to just come out like this, down, back up, like this, and then a flat bottom on my letter V. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Trace around. Oh, I like that you did that. And then you can connect the bottom. And then draw the inside of your letter V. There you go. You did it. Now let's go back to our letter A and let's draw a small triangle in the top part just to finish that letter. 
Nice. Okay, now we're ready to draw the letter E. Let's do what you did on the letter V, make it a little easier. I'm gonna draw short lines right at the end of each of those horizontal lines. Then we can draw the top connecting to the letter V. Then let's draw the going, oh yes, good job. Let's do that instead. We'll go in, down, and then back out and connect to this other line. Yeah, let's do the same thing on the next part. In, down, back out. Then let's start at the bottom and we'll tr trace around the bottom and then connect up to the V. We did it. Now the last letter up here on this first row is the letter A. Let's go around the letter A. I also gave my letter A a flat top. Mm. Oh, I like how you're doing it. And then draw down, up, over, down, and connect. You did it, and the inside little triangle. Let's switch back to our pencil, well, actually our eraser. And this part will fast forward, but we're gonna erase all of the pencil lines, the guidelines, inside of each of the block letters. Yeah. So remember to pause the video and take time to erase your guidelines too. Now we're ready to switch back to our marker and we're gonna create cloud letters for the word dream. Now this first letter right here, the letter D, we wanna make sure that we don't turn it into the letter O. We wanna make sure this side of the D looks flat. So I'm gonna start here and we're gonna draw a bumpy line that comes down in a straight, try to make it as straight as possible, but bumpy. If that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> good job. Now let's draw a bumpy line going around the front. And some of the bumps can be small, so it looks like a clout, and then some of them can be big. You can change or vary the size of your bumps. Okay, now let's draw the inside. First gonna draw the bumps going down in a straight line. And that's okay if you go over the pencil lines for the next letter because we're gonna use overlapping for those letters too. And then let's draw the bumps going around the inside this way. Yes, keep going. Keep going, yep. All the way down and connect. That was tricky, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now let's do the R. We're gonna draw the bumps here coming up. And then let's also draw the bumps coming down for the bottom of the R. Okay, now let's go around the top. We're gonna to start up here, draw bumps going around the top of the R. Then let's draw them going down the diagonal. And it's okay if we go over the E too. You have more space, so that's good. And then we're gonna go around the diagonal. Oh, I love your cloud letters. It's looking so awesome. And then right here, let's switch to this side and draw the bumps going up and connecting. Uh -huh, that looks so cool. Now let's draw the inside of our R. This is gonna be a little tricky. I'm gonna just draw two little bumps. And then let's draw little bumps going around and back up to the top. It's okay if it's really small. <laughs> there you go, little bumps and connect. Perfect. Now let's draw our letter E. I'm gonna start up here at the top. I'm gonna draw these bumps a little bit bigger. Look at this, I'm gonna stretch them out. There we go, and you can go all the way down. Mine goes behind the letter R, so I'm gonna imagine that going behind and coming out the bottom, and I'm gonna go, yes, let's keep going all the way to the inside. Yeah, keep going in, and then we can add one bump going up and then let's go around the in, the center part. Keep going. Oh, you're doing awesome. I know this is really tricky. I'm gonna draw one bump going up and then we're gonna go around the top and connect to the front. Awesome. Now let's draw the letter A. We're gonna start here at the bottom and I'm gonna draw the bumps going up to the top and then down the other side. Then let's go around the bottom and up. And then on the cross part, let's just draw one bump going over to the left and then connect down to the bottom of the E. Yes, now the inside of the A, let's draw one bump on the bottom and then we can draw a bump going up and then back down. Keep it really simple. Yes, 
Our last letter, the letter M, we're going to draw going up, then back down the middle. There you go. And then let's go back up and back down. My marker is squeaky. <laughs> we're going to go up the inside. And then let's go back down and up and then back down and connect to the A. You did it. Good job, Austin. Let's switch back to our eraser and erase the guidelines inside the word dream. This part will fast forward again. So remember to pause the video and erase your guidelines. Let's switch back to our pencil and add a few more details. Let's add hearts that are behind the letter I. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to draw two points. One up here and one down here. You actually have less space than I do over here. Look how much space I have. I can so probably overlap let's it. Let's change it. Yeah, you could draw the heart going off the page. Let's just add the heart right here. You could put the points right here and right here and erase those other ones. I love that ours are different. Yeah. This is perfect. Okay, now I'm going to draw the left side of the heart starting at the top guide point and coming around and touching the bottom guide point. On yours, go ahead and start up at the top and then when you draw through the eye, go ahead and keep drawing all the way and connect down to the bottom. I like that. And then we're going to add the right side and want it to look kind of the same. So we're going to Repeat that. Oh, I'm going to draw it a little bit different. Let's see. I'm going to come down here like this and then draw it back up. That's the nice thing about pencils. We can redraw it. I like that heart. That's awesome. I'm going to draw another heart maybe right here. Yeah, on yours, you could add it to the same place. So I'm kind of adding the dots at a diagonal so we can draw it. I'm going to draw right through the A, the letter A. Come down and connect to the bottom. And then we're going to do the same thing for the right side. Connect down to the bottom. I'm going to make this a little bigger and come past and, and then I, I'm going to erase the other line that I don't want to use. Oh, I'm going to draw another heart, just a little one that's over here. I'm going to draw it behind or in front of the other heart. Good job. I like that you added it right there. Let's switch back to our eraser and right here, I'm going to erase the part of the heart that's going through the letter. Yeah. And then right here, I want this heart to be in front of the other heart. So I'm going to erase inside like that so that this one looks like it's in front. And then over here, let's erase the guidelines going through the A. And if, yeah, it's going through the E, you could erase that too. Now let's switch back to our marker and trace over our guidelines. I'm going to start on this heart, trace around and then connect to the little heart and over here, I'm going to connect to the eye and then come down here and finish the bottom of the heart. Then I'm going to draw the little heart, trace around it, and there we go. And then, yeah, this heart over here too. Trace around to the bottom. Oh, that looks awesome. Keep going. And I'm going to draw the other side. And then you can add this one too. You did it. Good job. Now let's add a few more clouds. I'm going to just add a little bumpy cloud line right here and maybe a cloud over here underneath the letter M. Well, maybe a little one too. I'm going to just add a little popcorn or cloud line right here. <laughs> it looks like a piece of popcorn, huh? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing I Have a Dream. It looks really cool, except it's going to look better once we do what? Color it. Yeah, we are going to fast forward some of this part, but let's also tell our art friends what colors we're using. Now we got our markers, our biannual set of markers. If you have the same set, the colors that we're using is R107. That's red for the hearts. And then we have two blues. And what are those? Uh, B205 and B203. Yes, the lighter one is B203 and the darker one is B205. Let's use B205 for the letters on the top row and then also we'll use B203 for the letters on the bottom row. Now this part, let's fast forward, but then we'll stop and talk about the next step. Okay. 
We finished coloring in our block letters solid, but let's make the word dream look more 3D by adding a little shadow. So we're switching back to our B205. Now we're just adding the shadow to the bottom of each letter. So right here, I'm gonna add a little shadow at the bottom of each bump. Little shadow. And then when you get down to the bottom of the letter D, we're gonna go around the whole bottom. And then when we get to the front, Let's switch to just adding it at the bottom of the bump again. So maybe one more up here. And then up at the top, we'll leave the shadows off. Now let's switch to the inside of the letter D. I'm gonna add a shadow up here. Then we'll add it coming down and then maybe stop right there when I get halfway down. Let's do the same thing on the side. Yeah. Let's repeat that same step around the bottom of the letter R. I'm gonna go all the way around the letter R, or just on the bottom like that, and then maybe add two shadows going up the bump on the letter R. Perfect, yeah, right there. And then let's also add it on the inside, just on the top. Let's repeat that same step for the letter E. I'm just adding that little shadow on the side of the bumps, coming down and then all the way across the bottom of the letter E. And then let's also add a shadow on the middle, but just the bottom of the middle of the E. And then up here, just on the bottom of the top part of the letter E. Oh, that looks so 3D, that looks really cool. Let's repeat the same step for letter R. Nope, the letter A. <laughs> and we're gonna just go around the bottom of the letter A. And then in the middle, let's draw it just on the top. Look at that, just a little shadow on the top. And then the last letter, the letter M, just across the bottom of the letter M, we'll go all the way up and all the way down. And also on the bottom of this part right here. You could also add a, just a few little shadows on the bumps if you want. Let's also add shadows to the clouds. I'm gonna draw just on the bottom of the cloud. We'll trace around the bottom and this one too. We are using our biannual markers to color with, but remember you can color with whatever you have at home, like crayons or colored pencils. Now let's switch to our red R107 to color in the hearts. This is a lot of fun. We're gonna make our hearts look shiny. Right here at the top of the left side, I'm gonna draw a little highlight like that. It looks like a raindrop. We can also add a little highlight on the other bump too, just a small one. And then let's color in that heart. Let's also repeat that same step for the other hearts and we can fast forward this part too. Okay. One of my favorite things about using markers is we can go color back on top of it with a white colored pencil and add a highlight. Let's draw a little highlight on the top of each letter. So we have it right here on top of the I and also the top of the H. Oh, we could even add a highlight right here in the middle too. And then top of the letter A and the V. Oh, down here in the middle of the letter A too. Yeah, there you go. And then. On the E, we can add the highlight on the top, the middle, and also the bottom. Then let's also add the highlight to the top of the letter A. And right here on the middle of the A. Good job. And we can also add this little highlight on top of the light blue. It doesn't show up as well, but that's okay. We can go over and make the clouds look a little more shiny. It's kind of fun, huh? Mm -hmm. Just add little highlights on top. This next step, I'll just add to my drawing. You can leave this off to keep the lesson a little easier, but I'm using a light gray CG03 to add a drop shadow or a cast shadow at the bottom of the top letters. So right here, this will just make it look even more 3D, but it's a little trickier, so you can leave this off. Okay. I'll just go around the bottom like there's a little shadow and it makes the letters look like they're floating above the paper. Is that cool? Yeah. And you can also add this shadow around the bottom of each heart too to make those look 3D also. 
We did it. We finished drawing and coloring the words, I have a dream, and it turned out awesome. I also added the shadow to the word dream, but you can leave that shadow off to keep the lesson a lot easier. You can also color your drawing any way you want. Yeah, you could change the colors, maybe rainbow colors, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Or you could even just color the whole thing pink. Yeah. I know Hadley would do that. <laughs> You could also add more things to the background. Oh, you could even draw Martin Luther King in the background. Yeah. That would be really cool. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.